Yo! Wrong. Wrong way. Yo, Blur here. What a glorious day. Baby, I'm not here alone. I'm here with my plants. My plants. See, it's been a long time. This is a glorious day. Oh, sorry. My plants weren't in my room for a long time, right? Because of heartbreak during the winter, it's a little, it's like a month away from spring, seriously. And Lent is coming up. March 4th, today's February 27th, right? You're chilling with Blur. March 4th, I'm doing something drastic that's liberating. Look for my video, Blur's statement, okay? Doing something drastic. It's real liberating. It's going to be freaking... Who in this day and age, at my age, man, can't be doing this, man. Got to get a job. Everybody, everybody in my circle of life, got to get a job. Got to get a job. When's he going to get a job? When's he going to get a job? Whatever happened to purpose? So I'm here with my plants. They're back in my room. Through heartbreak in the winter and stuff. Somewhere in the line, I wanted to be alone. Even from my plants, man, that's how connected I am. My plant right here named Planty. But then I renamed them because my landlords gave me another plant, so my plant wasn't alone, so I named them Chlorophyll and Chlorophyllus. But the other day on video, it's been so long that they've been in my room under the light here that I forgot that I named my first plant that I've had for like five years Chlorophyll and Chlorophyllus. But I like the originality. The name is Planty and Chlorophyllus. That's it, man. That's the name. And the gloriousness of this. I said if you watch my videos, you see that I'm pretty hopeless. But when I put these in my room yesterday, right, last night, I had a hope of just a feeling that maybe one day I will have children. I know, I could barely even see making it through this year, 2014. And I will keep these plants forever. Pass them on to my kids, it will be a tradition. And they'll pass it on to their kids. I know that's very, uh, like, that That would be epic, man. If family could keep passing on plants, boom, boom, boom. This plant's been alive for a thousand years. That'd be some honor right there. So, they are in my room here. And you couldn't pay me to hurt my plants, man. And it past couple days I've been thinking about this Ted Nugent character and somehow these guys, these three guys fall into the same category someone's gonna have my head for this Ted Nugent, Rush Limbaugh and George Zimmerman somehow they just they love their guns man and murderers and I'm thinking like you have these indigo children right they wouldn't hurt a fly man they respect all life. You got this Ted Nugent, right? You see him on Twitter, the George Zimmerman. That's the link between... You see George Nimmer's, Zimmerman's pathetic tweet. He's like, yeah, yeah, Ted Nugent, I back you up, man. And George Zimmerman's tweets. I know it's bad to say anything bad about anyone, but... Just saying how I feel for the moment. His, his Twitter, the, the energy you get from him is that he thinks he's like... Like, somehow making a difference on Twitter. Like, you killed a teenager, man, in cold blood, man. How do these people not know that they're bad people? That's what I'm saying. Like, anything wrong with me, I'll admit it, man. I'll admit the bad thoughts I have had through my life, the things I've done. But these people are in such denial, like they're righteous. And you have these pictures of Ted Nugent, right? And he's like, on Twitter, He's has these photos with this pride of him killing like either deers or elks. They have the, the uh, antlers. And he's over these bloody photos of them, massacred, and he's making the same sinister smile. And it's totally like if an alien was hunting us, capturing us, killing us, and then taking photos on Twitter, smiling like... Like the, I hear my cat making a, messing with my blinds over there. That's another cat, man. Cats are cool, man. 
You could be a dog or a cat, man. I'd be a, I'm a cat, man. Sly like a cat. You gotta work for a cat's affection, man. Well, freaking. I think that's all I was gonna say. Those those pictures on Twitter with Ted Nugent are just freaking eerie, man. Stick to your music. Stay away from politics, man. It just, it just, it looks wrong. It's like all the, the people in politics, the the rich ones that are saying that, the people that are in need of help shouldn't get any help, and and all the people that say that are rich, or the people that are brainwashed by the rich. To somehow not have money, but then, like, be on the same page as the rich. No, we're not going to help anyone. The needy, the elderly, the veterans. Yeah, you know, they, if, like Paul Ryan, eh, if, they, if they're not intelligent enough to fend for themselves, they shouldn't be a part of the species. Like, that type of attitude, man. I don't know how I got into that, but it's a glorious day. You've been blurred. Peace.